We're in Fort Sherman. Uh, this place used to be the Center for Jungle Warfare Training from 1951 to 1999. Uh, this area is very large, with um, many, many acres. And you know, there's a lot of jungle here to explore. Uh, yeah, and since its abandonment by the U.S. military, uh, it's largely been you know, retaken over by the jungle. Uh, much of the buildings are completely covered uh, with vegetation. And you know it's very loosely guarded by the Panamanian military. We've only seen a couple of guards around here, um, but we're going to show you a couple of uh, you know tips and skills that can be used for survival uh, in this kind of environment here in Panama. Moving through the through jungle, you're always dealing with really rough terrain, and this is something that you can come across in a jungle uh, environment, especially in Panama or anywhere else that's in the tropics, is uh, fields of razor grass. This stuff is very sharp. It can cut you to pieces. Now, this, if you come here and take a quick, close look, there's barbs, and you know it, it's like serrated edge, and it will cut you apart if you try to get through here. So if at all possible, it's a good idea to try and avoid these kind of patches. Uh, as you can see, it gets very tall. So once you enter here, you know you could pretty easily lose yourself. And I'm guessing that this probably extends quite a ways. Um, we're kind of in a flat area where there's a lot of water, and that uh, seems to be where a lot of this seems to concentrate. In the uh, in the jungle, especially in Panama, uh, you have a lot of insects. When the sun goes down, you have a lot of insects like uh, noceums and mosquitoes. And both of those can carry diseases. Um, so it's really important to try and keep those insects away from you. Uh, one way that indigenous people were able to keep mosquitoes away from them would be the use of a termite mound. There's a lot of these around here. They get especially high up in the trees, um, but a lot of these are actually about waist level. And if you're able to break off large chunks of these and burn them, uh, you can uh, it, it'll create a smoke that'll keep the insects away. This is also a good source of food. There's a lot of protein in these termites. And uh, just by breaking these open, a lot of them came, o came out of the uh, termite mound. So this is, a, this is a good source of food and protection from insects for any survivalists if you're in a survival situation.